Are you already trying to eat healthier, moving more, but your blood sugar is still not coming down? Today, I'm breaking down 10 sneaky reasons why this might still be happening. And number seven is the one that I see most people overlook. So stick around because these reasons might finally give you the missing piece to the puzzle. Hey, it's Charmaine here, and I'm the registered dietitian that has helped over a thousand people reverse type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. And I do so by addressing the root cause, which is insulin resistance. And I want to share the exact reason I see people struggle so that you don't make the same mistakes. Number one, you're still eating too many refined carbohydrates. If you're still sneaking in some white bread and your sandwiches or a little bit of pastries or even sometimes soda, these spike your blood sugar almost instantly and making it much harder to bring it down. Now, this might seem like an obvious reason. However, a lot of people don't realize that they are accidentally sneaking these refined carbohydrates in. So I would encourage you to take a hard look at your diet and to see where the refined carbohydrates are coming in. Now, I want to make the distinction. Refined carbohydrates is different than unrefined carbohydrates. We want more unrefined carbohydrates because they have the fiber in it, for example, instead of white rice, have more things like wild rice so that you can have more fiber in your diet that's lower in glycemic index, but not telling you to cut out carbs, okay? Number two is eating too much saturated fat. Foods like fried chicken, bacon, and even coconut oil can clog your muscle cells. And this is because saturated fat intake is one of the biggest reasons for insulin resistance. It can make it much more harder for insulin to work, which can lead to stubborn high blood sugar. It's been found that when people eat a high saturated fat diet, even just for three days, they start developing insulin resistance. Number three, you're not moving enough. Sitting for hours make your muscle less efficient at burning glucose. So what you can do are these exercise snacks. So having 10 minutes of exercise in every two to three hours can help you keep your blood flow going and also keep you active. So even if you have a sedentary job, try to exercise snack to increase your activity levels. Number four is stress. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol and adrenaline, which can tell your liver to dump more glucose into your bloodstream. So remember, chronic stress equals to chronically higher blood sugar. Reason number five is poor sleep. Getting less than seven hours of sleep can make your cells more insulin resistant and and you may even crave more unhealthy foods when you don't have enough sleep. Number six is portion sizes. Now, when it comes to things like vegetables, lean protein, like tofu, tempeh, or whole grains or fruits, you can really eat larger volume. But if you're having unhealthy foods, especially on the weekends where you want to be a little bit more flexible, you do want to watch the portion of these unhealthy junk food because they don't have the fiber that can keep you satiated. And they also are not that big in volume and they're higher in calorie density compared to unrefined plant-based foods. Number seven is eating too close to bedtime. At night, your body is naturally less insulin sensitive. That means heavy dinners will always almost increase your blood sugar in the morning. Reason number eight is skipping meals. When you skip your meals and overeat later, your body gets hit with a huge splurge of glucose and sometimes it can't handle it efficiently. And number nine is alcohol. Beyond the hidden sugars and mixed drinks, alcohol can actually add stress to your liver. And when you over drink on alcohol, it can cause fatty liver disease, which means that your liver has more fat in it, which will impact your body's ability to process glucose. And it's been found that over drinking can increase your risk for type 2 diabetes. And number 10 is excess belly fat, also called visceral fat. This type of fat wraps around your organs and pumps out inflammatory chemicals that can make insulin resistance worse. So reducing your weight circumference is one of the fastest ways to improve your blood sugar. So let's recap these 10 reasons. Number one, refined carbs. Number two, too much saturated fat. Number three, not enough movement. Number four, stress. Number five, poor sleep. Number six, having large portions of the unhealthy foods. Number seven is eating too late. And number eight is skipping meals. Number nine, alcohol. And number 10 is having excess belly fat. If even one of these are showing up in your routine, it could explain why your blood sugar isn't coming down. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. And if you want to watch my free training, go to my link in my description because I break down on how we can reverse insulin resistance in there. Just remember, progress, not perfection. If you focus on just fixing one thing on this list, you'll start moving in the right direction.